Let's pray. Dakila at pagpala namin Diyos, mga kapanyang sa lahat. Maraming pong salamat sa oras na ito at pagkakataon na inyo pong pinagkalaw sa amin na kami po po kasama ng akin mga kamag-anak, pamilya Lord, na nandito para mag-worship sa inyo sa pagsalubong ng araw ng Sabat. Kayo po na wang siya manguna sa amin, lahat po ng participants, at lalo na po ang speaker namin ngayon na si Pablo, na siyang manguna sa Uh, sa amin pong worship. Thank you, Lord, at bless niyo pong bawat isa na ma-bless po kami sa amin pong mapapakinggan. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Happy Sabbath, everyone. We will be sharing to you some of our future songs. There, I allow me to share. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Our first song, if you have a Bible with you, you can open it. I see 51, 11. Therefore, the name of the Lord shall return. Everlasting joy shall be upon the head. Therefore, the name of the Lord shall return. Everlasting joy. Shall be upon their head. They shall all say, "Gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall clear away." Therefore, the Lord of Redeemer returns, and I will see thee. And to say. Everlasting joy shall be upon the earth. For our next song, let's go. You can open your Bible on Philippians four eight. Philippians four eight. Aki ba? Kita der? Okay. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good reports, if there be any virtue. And if there be any praise, think on these things. Philippians 4 Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think of these things. Philippians 4 Okay, for our next song, I think this will be our opening song, na ba there? Someone will do the opening song. Isa pa there, then opening song. Okay, we will have it on Psalms 51, 10 to 12. Thank you. 
Bible with you. Uh, you can open it on John 16:33. This is I have spoken unto you that in me might have peace in the you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. This is I have spoken unto you, that in me shall have Okay, so na opening prayer tap. Wala sila mami. Sir Yang, open your prayer, Ter. Ako din. Ah, ah, ah. Sige. It's on our prayer. Our most gracious, kind and loving Heavenly Father, we are so thankful, Father God, for giving us this privilege once again to gather together to have our worship with our family, with our friends, and with our loved ones. It will, Father, that we invite your Holy Spirit to be with us. May you continually to give knowledge and wisdom, especially to our speaker, that he may, she may be able to speak words which is according to thy will. And these words, Father, will be an instrument that our relationship will be more closer unto thee as we are waiting for this, your second coming. Father God, may it will be that you create in us a clean heart as we open our hearts for the words that this will be our, gui our guide. And that, Father, our relationship to Thee will be more closer. Thank you, Father, for this Holy Sabbath once again. And thank you, to God, for your protection. And thank you for your love. In Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Ter, for that wonderful inspiration and open prayer. Uh, before anything else, I would like to say thank you to Harleen. Thank you, Lynn, for joining Lynn, Pinsani Marge. Our non-Adventist friend, Limuel, thank you. Consistent ito. And who else? DJ, thank you. At naka-join si DJ. Mr. and Mrs. Katuri, thank you for joining. At inining family, thank you. Okay, so this, uh, ito yung program natin. Uh, yung nagbigay ng inspiration, Sister Daya and Sister Mench. Opening prayer by Sister Daya. Supposed to be si Mami, kaya lang hindi makakonect kasi may ng signal. Then, pagkatapos ko, Hannah will render a music through her violin. After that, uh, special song ni Mr. and Mrs. Maturi, pero na dito na, nakarecord na. Then, after the special song, will be our speaker, our kapatid, Jerry Anpeck. Then appeal song by Mr. Mark, and then prayer request. Kung may mga prayer request kayo, uh, I mention you later. Reggie will do the prayer. Reggie will do the prayer. Closing song, Sister Daya and Sister Mench, and then closing prayer by our speaker. So the program will goes as what I have mentioned before. Anna? <laughs> <laughs> 
Kristen. sa mic nyo, ante, kay ma-feedback. Ang Ariana always is not doing well. Thank you. 
wala yung ano video mahina sir mahina ulitin mo te ha ulitin mo wala yung video sir wala yung video ter wala ulit ko ha ulitin mo ulit i minimize i minimize mo kaya yung ano yung ano yung window or VLC pwede bang tayo na lang so ganyan sabit lang ha okay na Wala pa Pwede bang kami mag-share? Kayo na lang, Mai. Mai, kayo, Mai. Kayo, ah, sige. At, ano maka... At try namin na. Okay. Oo, sige. Ah, uh, wait lang. Tama. Sige, <coughs> ready lang namin. Live na lang, May. Live na? <laughs> Magpuputal-putal eh. Okay. Oh. Yun. There you okay go. Na. Okay na, May. Sir Daya, Ter, that's okay, Ter. Ayan, okay na. Okay na. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sa amin na lang tayo para ano, hindi putol-putol. Ah, sige, sige. Ah, ah, baka kasi sa pag-download. Sige. Kita niyo po? Oo. Uh, yung video. Uh, kita. Sige, okay, wait lang. Ulit. Ulit. Okay na po? Yung volume na lang. Volume ay volume. Ayan na. Yun ay pinakamalakas. Mahina, di naririnig. Sige lang, continue na lang. Sige lang. Live na lang. Live ka lang daw ba? Wala mang volume, my as in zero. Okay, live na lang po. Live na lang, ilive. Okay. Ay, live na lang. Hindi po. Wait lang. Wala ka na lang po yung sana. Wala ka na lang po yung Oh, 
47 in the morning. Happy Sabbath, mga kapatid. Sabbath. Sabbath. So, happy to see you again. So, this is an ambush uh, message also. So, yeah. So now we are talking, our message for today is all about angels. Like, angels all around. So, maybe I, I should have wear my glasses. I cannot read. Asahin ko na to kasi hindi ko memorize kasi it's, you know, it's very quick notice. So, today we're going to be talking about a Bible subject and it's all about angels. Do we believe in angels, everybody? Yes. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Amen. So, there's a mysterious world of angels. The Bible says that there is an unseen or invisible world. So, yes, yeah, there are. Yeah, um, you hear me? So, angels are angels are um, mentioned over three hundred times in the Bible. Three hundred times in the Bible, and there are three terms for angels mentioned in the Bible. So the first one, they are termed or called as a messenger. 
The second one, they are called as seraphim. The seraphim means it's the burning ones. Those were the two angels that stood on the left and the right side of the throne of God. And they have six wings. And they looked to each other and they cried, holy, holy, holy. That's, they're always, you know, the praises to God. The third one is the cherubim. It means deputy or minister. So, um, Jesus said in John 3, 7, if you have your Bibles with you, you can open it. John 3, 7, it says in there, you should not be surprised by my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sounds, but you cannot tell where it comes or where it goes. So it is with everyone also that born in the spirit. So there is a mysterious world that sometimes it's for us human, it's difficult for us to understand. In Colossians 1, 15 and 16, it says in there, He, which is Christ, is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creations. For in him, all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. So there were things created that invisible to us. We don't know it yet. And I don't know if we will know it by and by, but whatever it may be, the, they are created by God. You know, there's an amazing story that I will share with you in the Bible about the prophet Elisha. Do you know prophet Elisha? He was a secret weapon of the king of Israel. Elisha is the prophet that lives in a little town called Dothan. Dothan means wheels, you know, balloon, two wheels. He was like the secret weapon of, king, of the king of Israel because every time the king of Syria wanted to launch an attack or, over the king of Israel or they wanted to have an ambush wherever the king of Israel is traveling, they wanted to attack them. But every time he plans of doing it, uh, the king of Israel knows it in advance, and he is always frustrated. The king of Syria is always frustrated because how come that they already know it in advance of what they're planning to do? And he told his um, uh, he told his servants, he said that maybe one of you guys are the spies, the spies for for the king of uh, Israel. And the, um, the servant said, oh, no, my Lord, no, my master. We are, we are faithful to you. We don't betray you. We will not betray you. And you know who's doing that? It's Elisha. Elisha, the prophet, the prophet of the king of Israel. He knows everything, even what, everything that you said, even in your bedroom, he knows everything. So the king of uh, Zaria was troubled. He was like frustrated and he was upset. And he said, where did he live? Maybe we can just go and attack him. So he told his servants to gather all his great army. And in that night, they go to, to the village of Dothan and they surrounded it because they have, you know, they plan to you know, kill um, Elijah. So early in the morning, um, the servants of the prophet of Elisha went down to the well to get some water. You know, he had, he had to pitch some water. And then he noticed while he was pitching the water, he noticed in surrounds, you know, he noticed um, in his surroundings that there were noises. There were like scratching of the, you know, tail ng mga horses. And then there were guns that he was he was uh, seeing, so he was very he was very scared. He was frightened. So in panic, he he ran to um, his prophet Elisha, to his master. And then he said, "Master, master, 
what shall we do? There's, there's an army surrounds us. But what did Eli Elisha did? She, he just get up and go out, open the door. It's because of the, the, the messenger, the servants of Elisha ha, ha, didn't have that enough faith for the Lord. So he just opened the door and Elisha, Elisha said a prayer. And she said, we can find his prayer in 2 Kings 6.17, if you have your Bibles with you. It says in there, and Elisha prayed, open his eyes, O Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the servant's eye. And then he looked and saw, and saw all of his surroundings was full of horses and chariots angels of the Lord that was surrounds Elisha's house. So there were the angels of God that's protecting them. So that, you know, the angels are very powerful because they were created by God. God has an army of angels to watch over us also. Did you ever try to pray God for at least um, like telling him, their Lord, show me an angel? Have you ever tried that one? Anyone? Did you, did you see an angel? No, not yet, right? Even me. Just feel it there, feel, but not, we did not. I, yeah, I we just feel. Stop praying for it. It was just. Okay. So, well, someday we will, we will see them when Jesus comes together with all the heavenly hosts of angels. But right now, it's because our planet got the disease called sin that we are somewhat quarantined that only very few people can see angels that was the bible times people so speaking of the angels again in psalms 103 20 and 22 it says praise to the lord you his angels you mighty ones who will do his will who obey his word praise the lord all ye heavenly hosts so the Bible called them the heavenly host, surrounding God's surrounding uh, in, in his heavenly place, in his dwelling place in heaven. It's surrounded by clouds of angels. So there were lots and lots of angels that we cannot count. So when he comes again, we will see them with, with all the heavenly, um, heavenly beings. So how many names of angels in the bible do you know do you know any names that, that the bible mentioned there were three there were three angels that named in the bible the first one is gabriel gabriel it means the man of god second one you know lucifer yes. when yeah <laughs> yeah, when he was, he was not cast down yet, when he was still, you know, with God, mm -hmm. when he was not rebelled yet with, with the Lord. His name is means, means the light bearer or the shining star, right? Mm -hmm. And the third one is Michael, so the archangel. Um, Everybody hears me? Okay. So angels are unique. They are holy. They are unique because they were not born by our heavenly, our humanly parents. They were created by God. So there were two kinds of angels also. What are they? The holy angels and the fallen angels, right? Yeah. So how many, do you think, how many angels were cast in you know cast away cast down in the air when they followed lucifer for his rebe rebellion to god there were a third there were a third of the heavenly heavenly beings right so the bible says that every one of us has a guardian angel so if we have eight billion people in the earth so we have 8 billion angels. How, how, how many or how much 
is the third of those eight billions. So it's also a billions, right? So there were also a lot of, you know, not fallen angels, bad angels, but we don't have to worry because there were more holy angels than them. And they are also stronger than them because the Bible says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, right? And the Lord fortifies them also. So how many angels are there? Do we know? How many angels are there? In Revelations, Revelations 5 verse 1, it says, Then I look and hear the voice of many angels, yes. numbering thousands upon thousands and ten thousands and ten thousands. They encircled the throne of God. So it's good, it's good to know that they were innumerable, like we cannot count. There's a lot and lots of them. Can angels fly? Yes, they have wings, right? So what is the speed of the car? The car runs very fast, right? Like 60 MPH, miles per hour, 80 or more, very fast. How about the planes? The planes flies like 700 miles an hour. Miles an hour, much faster. And we have now the new aircraft that fly at least 25,000 miles an hour. 25,000 an hour. It's just like, like that. And the speed also of the light is 185,000 miles per second, not hour, per second. So how is that? How is that? You cannot imagine that, that quick, right? It's too quick. But the angel of the Lord can fly in a speed of just a thought. When you will just think about praying God. It's already there. It says in Daniel 9.21, While I was speaking and praying, confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel, and making my request to the Lord my God, while I was still in praying, Gabriel, the man that I saw in the earlier vision, came to me in swift like flight about the time of the evening sacrifice. He instructed me and said to me, Daniel, I have now come and give you insights and understanding. So, ganyang kabilis ang angel. Lupigan tong akong dipang mention, right? So, that's the power of an angel. So, what is the gender of the angel? Are angels male or female or babies? Or because people are confused about angels. When you look at the internet, you can see pictures there that there were like little fat babies, angels, like getting bored. Bored na sila kasi you they want to go down na daw sa, you know, sa earth to help somebody. You know, there's, that was the saying, right? And there were also hinuktok na yung baby angel because she wanted to play something like that. Some other pictures also are ladies. Is the angels lady? But the Bible said, angels are mentioned in the Bible as a man. So like, like when, Je when Jesus ascended to heaven, the disciples saw Jesus in the middle of two angels. Men, they are men with white raiment. And also at the tomb, right? They saw an angel as a man. So the angels also that rescued Lot's family in Sodom and Gomorrah, there were also, he was also a man, right? So it's not a lady, it's not a baby, it's a man in his feature. So what do angels do? What do angels do? Angels guard and protect. Are there guardian angels? Of course, yes, yeah. Every one of us has a guardian angels. 
Psalms 37, 34, uh, verse 7, it says, The angel of the Lord encamps around about those who fear him. So, you know, when you're in trouble, you know, pag may gulo, who do you call? When you're in trouble, you have to call 911, right? But don't forget to call Psalm 91, verse 11. For he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all his ways. In their hands, they lift you up. They bear you up. And there's also a quote from the great controversy. says, a guardian angel is appointed to every follower of Christ. Everyone, every follower. So every one of us has a guardian angel. These heavenly beings shield the people and their presence causes the evil to fall back. Like, pagka nakakita ang, you know, ang masasamang, the other side angels, they were like, paatras sila kasi, you know, the, our holy angels are very powerful. So, what a blessing, ha, huh? that God gave us an angels to watch over us, each one of us. So, angels not only guard us, but they also guide us. In Exodus 23, it says in there, God said to Moses, Behold, I am sending you an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you in the place where I have prepared for you. Lot was also guided by an angel, angel right? In leaving, you know, Sodoma and Gomorrah. So sometimes, did you, did you experience it? When you pray, our minds wanders, you know, goes to the other something. Do you experience that? And when you experience that and you go back to your, to your focus, that's the angel that brings your remembrance. He brings you back to your, where you have to go. So that's the, that's the job of an angel. And, but, Angels are very powerful. They're, they're, they're there to watch us. They're there to protect us, to guide us. But we don't worship angels, right? Because they are just also a co-liberator for Christ. In Revelations 19, it says in there, John fell on his knees like he had luhud siya. He fell on his knees to worship the angel. But what did the angel do? The angel said, see that you do not do that. Do, do not do it. Don't worship me because I'm also like you. I'm also a worshiper to God. You have to bring your praises to the Lord. So they, they always incline people like Daniel, like Ezekiel. They always incline people to worship the Lord, not for them, because they were just also like us. So, but they were like a little bit higher than us humans. So that's it for for the angels. So I have a very um, amazing story to share with you. That I will end my um, my my message here. That it will be it will strengthen our faith and how we should pray and how the angels so good to us. So this is the story of one of our pastor's wife. Her name is Melanie Coleman. She is from the state of Oregon. And in her testimony, she said that my husband is a pastor in the U.S. state of Oregon. So the Oregon Villa. And um, they had a crusade, like evangelistic. And it was the opening night, Friday night. And before that, uh, she uh, decided to uh, make a team, the prayer warrior that we called. That uh, you know, you have. She has. She prepared a prayer um, prayer room for the team. But her, but her team warrior was like it consists of mostly homebound or the elderly, like yung mga matatanda na, and those were people who are just praying in their homes but then she still she still prepared a, 
a room in the church for them, for the prayer warrior. The first night, Friday night, while the, the um, evangelistic was already started, she went to the prayer room and there was nobody there. She was sad. She was sad because there's nobody there. But still, she prayed. So the the evangelistic, the, the program was finished. They went home. The next day, Sabbath, another, another, um, what do we call this one? Another meeting. So Sabbath evening. And she went to that prayer room again. And there's nobody. Her heart aches. And what did she do it to, to ease the feeling that she was feeling? She played, you know, the prayer, the, uh, the Lord's Prayer song. She played it instrumentally, and then she prayed by, by herself, again, by herself. And then in her prayer, she said, Lord, I know that you said that were there two or three that are gathered together in your name, you are there, Lord. And, but how about if it's only just me? She just prayed it silently. So, di ba nakakaiyak? Then she was waiting for the song to finish. And then when she opened her eyes, my brethren, when she opened her eyes and then she looked around, the room was full of angels. You see how powerful is the Lord? She started crying. I'm crying too. So she started crying and she looked around the, ro the room in amazement. She was so amazed. She said the angels were tall, so tall, as tall as the ceiling. She said, that they had rude shoulders like the warrior shoulders and then they stood together shoulders to shoulders lots of angels around the room and then there were there were their wings there they said that he she said that their wings like they like doing like that and then they smiles were so gentle. She said these they smiles were so gentle. They were so kind. Like, like they were comforting her. Like, it's okay. We're here. You're not alone. We're here. And then she said that their hair was like dark and a little longer. And their facial features, it's like the warrior features. It's like like that but they were so gentle so what did she do it's just she just cried and she just said lord i'm sorry that you know her faith was kind of a little bit lacking so she was she was so thankful and she was like looking at the angels and did di, di, she maka, ba sa angels kasi masinag daw yung their their yung kanila daw forms yung, Nag-shine daw talaga ng parang yellow and white color. And then, in just about few few seconds, nawala na daw sila. So she prayed back again and she was thankful. She was very thankful to the Lord that, uh, you know, the Lord hears her prayer. That okay lang daw pala. If you were just praying alone, don't be discouraged. It's, there's a lot of angels. Angels are all all around you know that's what i said earlier that in just they were just a prayer away when you when you just they were just thought the speed of the angels is just your your thought when you think of them like from heaven just ganyan kaagad sila diba? so they were just faster than the planes faster than the aircrafts faster than the car and everything so it was so it was so uplifting that the Lord provides us with angels. 
that the Lord provides us with a guardian angels with every one of us. So if you if you feel like you have you were discouraged, wondering if God could work, that if is it just only you in prayer, or you would just feel like sad about about you know about life. Just think that you are not alone, that angels are there, angels all around. So, hold on. So that's it. You must, we must never underestimate the prayer, the power of prayer and the power of the angels. So we'll just have to, you know, pray. And then he will provide us with whatever we need. And he will provide us angels if we need something. And um, yeah, so even though we can see angels, still we have to, we have to think that they're just, they're just there in our, in our surroundings. We just have to continue with our faith with the Lord. Don't be discouraged. Um, even in just one prayer, God is at work. He hears us. Even though we cannot see, he's just a prayer away. And the angels also. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, any before before our closing song, any prayer request? First, our prayer request um, for our family frontliners and for Jim Boy's uh, plan for the training. Sana matapos na yung yung problema sa COVID para makapag-training na si Jim Boy. What else? Good health para sa lahat. Then let's uh, continue to pray for our papers too. Okay. okay. Uh, for for uh, Gronda family na papers nila for US na sana maayos na. I mean, ma tuloy tuloy na ang kanilang pag-process. Anything yeah, else? Yeah, so... Um prayer request also for, you know, um, Ron's uh, coming surgery was, oh, he, his surgery before was on hold, right? Because of this okay. COVID. Okay. But um, we were, we have to call again for, for an appointment for another okay. surgery. So okay. I hope it will be, we, we pray that it will be, you know. Okay. Um, Anything else? Prayer, prayer request. Uh, financial status ng Patiros Church dahil sinisingil na kami ng may-ari ng bahay. Sana oh. yung, mga kapatiran, yung mga kapatiran na nag-pre-pledge okay. magbibigay na po. Makabayad na kami. Okay. For And we also church? pray for our churches. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We have to pray also for our churches na, okay. you know, there will Time will come and we'll reopen us so we can go, okay. you know, to church to worship the Lord. Okay. So, again, uh, para sa Ateros Church, uh, sana ma okay na yung mga nag-pledge kasi kailangan na nila. And then, sana mag-open na din yung mga churches para makapagsimba na tayo. Mag Yano kasi habang nag-pledge. Okay. G, pray na tayo. Shall we kneel down? We will kneel down. Hello. Let us bow our heads for our prayers. Uh, Dear Lord, uh, 
uh, we praise you uh, for what we've heard, uh, for that wonderful message that uh, as we pray, even though we're alone, uh, it's not only that we're alone, but angels are with us, dear Lord. Uh, dear Lord, you hear everyone's uh, wishes, dreams, hopes, and uh, their, uh, uh, their one things, Lord. Uh, may you hear them and may you uh, accept their plans and whichever your uh, your plans is better than theirs. Uh, Lord, uh, uh, your will might be done, Lord. And uh, uh, we also pray uh, the Pateros Church uh, uh, amidst this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, they have they, they are struggling uh, about the uh, their rentals. Uh, uh, have plans for them, and you have plans for each and every one of us, oh Lord. We also pray for the uh, 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 the the Grand family for their uh, papers that uh, that will be fastened. So they, they can achieve whatever their plans may be, O oh Lord. And also, dear Lord, uh, I may forget in uh, prayers of uh, everyone here. I know uh, that uh, even before we pray, you already know what, uh, what our wishes are. Uh, we pray all this, O oh Lord, and uh, ask for your forgiveness for all, our, all of our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Mr. Young? Amen. Mark? Brother? Mm. Oh. Ready na? May patla ako kasi nanonood na sila dun sa kapila. Okay na? Remember someone 
is praying for you. When it seems that you prayed till your strength is all gone and your tears fall like raindrops all the day long jesus cares and he knows just how much you can bear he'll speak your name to someone in for you someone is praying for you so when it seems you're all alone and your heart will break into remember someone is praying for you remember someone is praying for you amen Amen, on Saturday. Man. <laughs> okay, may umiyak man. Closing, closing song, Ter. <laughs> Our closing song, we will sing this song. I miss that. Okay na? Okay na kayo? Okay, sir. I say, okay. <laughs> pray. You said you will pray. Okay. okay. Uh, let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for the privilege that we gather in this Zoom application and internet. Uh, we praise your name through online. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the opportunity to do this. And thank you for the message that you have shared to us, which reminds us to everybody that we can use this as we wait for your second coming and please prepare ourselves for the sabbath day O lord forgive us our sins we have committed unto thee protect us from all and give us good health thank you lord for answering our prayer this we ask to christ our lord amen
Thank you. 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 Thank you.